Since the late 20th and early 21st century, education has changed since the advent of the first commercially available computers. Access to computers in schools has mainly been through the use of computer labs. However, this is beginning to change since computers are more widely available to the public. Beginning in 2011, Monarch became the first bring-your-own-device school in the Boulder Valley School District, allowing for students to bring their own computer to the classroom and use it to access online materials to help with various studies. Of course, both students and teachers have their own varying opinions on how the use of this technology has impacted the classroom, both from an educational and social standpoint. How do I feel about students having their own devices in their classroom? Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. I think most of it is positive uh, because we can do things like flipped learning and blended learning, uh, which are techniques that help more kids learn than just doing a passive lecture from a teacher and sitting there and taking notes. Um, however, the negative sides are is that kids get very distracted sometimes by their uh, phones or their computers and they'll be surfing the internet or watching TV shows and things like that. Um, which is counterproductive to their learning. you feel um, like using your device, even if you don't use it every day, how do you feel that it's positively impact your high school career? Um, I think that in general, I think it expands the boundaries of our education in the way that we don't just have textbooks and teachers telling us things. We can actually go and, you know, we have so much access to information that's right at our fingertips due to the, you know, computers that we each have. However, the question still remains. Is the one-to-one -one system worth it? Setting up the infrastructure for this system costs both time and money, and there still isn't enough solid evidence to show if the introduction of computers in the classroom has provided a benefit for the students. In Eamon O'Donovan's article, Are One-to-One -one Laptop Programs Worth the Investment?, he states, The lack of data on the effect of laptop programs on standardized test scores is a significant Achilles heel. Simply stated, in my experience, Laptop programs do not have a direct bearing on standardized test scores. Technology use from middle school to high school has changed uh, because now I can access all my assignments and quizzes online. We use uh, digital or driver's license. We had to like, fill, up a, fill out a quiz in a, a computer lab. And uh, we have to bring that everywhere we go to use our computers. And yeah. Um, Next year, Monarch will be providing Chromebooks to incoming freshmen for $40 a year to help lower income families. Students will then be able to take these Chromebooks with them once they are done with high school. Right. How would you feel if the school would provide you a computer and like a Chromebook and they provided everyone the same Chromebook and uh, would you feel that like, that would be a better or a worse option to the bringer on device school? I think it depends on where you are location wise. I think for schools that maybe don't have are quite as in a wealthy district like we are. I think that would be beneficial to a lot of students, a lot of families. I know there are a lot of families that can't afford necessarily, you know, a nice expensive computer. Maybe they have lots of children, um, things like that. So I think that would be probably preferable to, you know, requiring the students to go out and the parents to go out and buy their you know, students a computer versus the school providing it. While there is no solid evidence proving that a one-to-one -one system is beneficial yet, Monarch itself is a large testing ground and will be used to see how it can be applied at other locations, so we doubt we will be seeing this system leaving Monarch anytime soon.